right, this one is very similar to this one. And I realized that on the um, uh, lesson plan, I don't know why I skipped to page 215, but um, I, what I meant was 214. So you should have two packets in your, um, in the big envelope that I gave you. And one packet has, um, you know, these kind of worksheets. And then the other packet looks like it's, it came from a workbook. And it did. It came from their big workbook that they work on in class. And so these are the ones that um, I would love to have all of the material that they're working on. But but this is, um, they're going to be doing sheets like this in first grade. And so, yes, they need to understand the skills, but they also need to be familiar with the way things look in um, the books that they're, the curriculum that they're going to be using um, in first grade. So I really want to make sure that they're familiar with, you know, this way of doing math. Not that the ways that are not good ways too. It's just that um, sometimes if they are focused on learning math that way and then they get to first grade um, and it's taught um, how our curriculum is, they may think that they don't know it when they actually do. It's just it looks different. And I just want to make sure that they at least are exposed to what they're going to be doing and kind of things that are going to be similar um, in first grade. And I don't know all the material out there actually aligns and goes with what we're doing. So I just want to make sure that um, that's why I put two different things. The other one really just enforces the skill, gets them practicing. But this this is what it's going to look like and, you know, and what we would have done in the classroom. But with that, um, so again, we are doing, um, we're using our base 10 blocks to try to, um, to add equations together. So again, we have our base 10 block of 10. We know that there's 10 here because we've counted, but there are 10 of these tiny little of these ones of our ones. And with this, you're also learning place value. So we have our tens and we have our ones. And there are 10 of these ones in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? And so that's what this represents. So you know this is 10. And if you start understanding place value, which is a, is a first grade um, standard, um, this number right here that has the 1, is because it represents that there's 1 of these 10 blocks. There's 1. So that is the number one is in the tens column. And this is a 10 block. So there's one of these. If I were to have two, there's 20 of these ones, two 10 blocks. So this number in the tens column would then be two. And we'll do some more skills on that um, as we move forward towards summer. <clears throat> so with this, it wants you to find the missing partner. So we have 10, but it says we need 17. So how many of these little tiny ones do you think we need? Give me a minute. <clears throat> right? Seven. We need seven of these up here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Now I can say that I have 17 because I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so I just gave you an illustration. What it wants you to do is draw the squares to help you out. I actually um not I, I want you to draw them. Okay. So when you return these back to me, I want to see squares on each and every one of these problems. Okay. So we already determined that I need seven squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're gonna write an equation. So we know 
we have one of these, but how many is in? So we're not going to write the number one, okay? Because I don't have just one. I have one of 10, correct? So there are 10 in here. So I'm going to write 10. Now, how many little of the little little ones do I have? The little squares. I have seven of those. So 10 plus seven equals 17. Okay, I'm gonna do number six with you. All right, this time I'm not gonna use um, my little blocks to help me. I've got this picture to help me, so I'm gonna use this. So again, we have one 10 block, there's one, this actually represents 10. So because I know there's 10 and I'm gonna count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'm going to write my number 10 right here. Okay, uh-oh, but it says I need 18. So I have 10. How many of these little squares do I need? Give you a minute to think about it. Look at this equation too. Look at this one to help guide you with number six. You're right, I need eight. So I'm gonna make eight squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But what if, what if you raise your hand in class and you say, Mrs. Gaston though, how do I know that it's eight? Maybe you're getting stuck. Well, this is what you can do. Start with 10 because you know there's 10 and then draw a box and say 10, 11 and you're going to stop at 18, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So count out loud as you're drawing the box and then because you're going to stop at 18, count how many you have and this your squares should match this number one two three four five six seven eight yep i counted eight and i have eight there which means i know i'm gonna put eight here so ten little squares ten ones plus eight ones gives us a total of 18 okay so there are different ways to go back and check your work. What I want to make sure is you understand the the um the concept of this. Um that we have tens and we have ones and this begins the place value and if you get this concept now, you are going to be so ready for first grade. Um and then definitely do this down here. Please don't help them parents with this one. Absolutely help them with this if they're struggling with this. But when it comes to to check their understanding, I want to see if they know this. If they get it wrong, it's okay. Don't make the correction. I want to see where they're at with their learning. So when we conference together, I can say, okay, I see that you you maybe have gotten help here, but um, you were struggling with this. How can I help you get there where you can understand it? Okay. All right. Thank you. And again, I'm, I'm just going to be making this uh, post on all of my videos, but please just keep these videos for us. There's no sharing allowed when we do our Google Meet time as well. There's no sharing. There's no recording of it. So this is for you. You can always go back to it, but we're not going to be posting these videos on social media. Thank you.